Hello, my name is Jay. A while back I did a video about GPU prices and why they were so high. Unlike RAM though, GPUs had a clear culprit for what was the problem, why their prices were so high, and that was simply cryptocurrency mining, miners, etc. But now everybody's wanting to know RAM prices. Why are they so high, when will they go down, and what can I expect in what time frame? Now, you know, you're watching this video either one of two people. You want to probably end up getting your system, which nothing wrong with that, and or you want to upgrade your RAM. Now, obviously me, I got this RAM back here in my system, this LED RAM, which funny story, came in the mail with the LED version, even though I paid for the non-LED version. LEDs don't hurt. Problem is, if I want to get the exact same RAM, I have to pay $200 pretty much for the exact same RAM. Now you're going, well, $200 is a lot, including that I paid $115 for the RAM back last June, and the fact is the LED version of the RAM was $120 last June. It really doesn't, you know, seem right that now I have to pay $200 to match the RAM with this other RAM in the system. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, well, why is RAM so expensive? Why did it go up so high? And that's simple, supply and demand. Samsung stopped production of the RAM modules on their pieces of RAM uh, a while back, and obviously you can kind of been feeling the effects of it. Now, obviously my source for this and the proof that I have that hopefully price will go back down is Samsung's announced that they're going to hopefully go through and begin production of the RAM modules once again in the first three months of 2018. Now, you're probably sitting there going, well, what does the production of RAM modules mean? It means that A, they're not going to be as scarce, meaning prices should be able to go down if there's a little bit more of them, and they're not so you know hard to find, I guess. Now the thing is, a lot of people are probably going to go wonder, well, now that prices are down, you know, now that all this, you know, availability is out there, what am I going to be expecting, what time frame, etc. And that is pretty much, as I said, probably the first three months. Now, if Samsung begins production at the very last day of March, it will at least, well first of all, it takes a while for them to produce enough to make a difference. Second of all, it will take a bit of time for them to go through and you know the, the car the manufacturers to start producing the RAM assembling it all together and putting you know building basically the RAM and putting it out there so you probably should expect maybe a month to two months after whenever they decide the you know to start producing it now obviously if RAM prices and you know if that doesn't change it then something's pretty much wrong because that's why we have such high prices now I don't want someone to be sitting here going, well, you said three months, I'm going to wait three months and see what happens. It really does depend on when Samsung decides to do it. I really can't tell you because I'm not in Samsung. I just sit here and make videos about news that I read and, you know, guesses and stuff. Because that's all this is a guess. But you really, it really does heavily depend on when Samsung decides to do it. If they begin it, you know, maybe, I don't know, tomorrow, then you could probably expect it by March that you'll have some pretty good prices. If they begin it on, I don't know, April, and you're sitting there complaining about how I said that prices should be down by March and they begin production in April, then you should be expecting prices maybe in June or yeah, pretty much June, you should be expecting some prices. Um, so the point is, don't really hop on it, but I would recommend keeping an eye out on Samsung, keeping an eye on the news, because when they start producing it, you will see the difference, clearly see the difference, hopefully. Otherwise, unless there's some other factor that comes up. I can't predict the future. I'm just giving you my best guess based off of what I presented and explaining to you where I got that guess from. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And, of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you have any other sources or any you know contradictory stuff, please put that down in the comments. I'll try to pin it if it's important. Um, as I said, I'm just taking a guess with what I've read, what I've found online. So, you know, this is my best guess. I like to see where, what it does. My last couple of guesses have actually been pretty accurate. So we'll see what this goes from here. And, of course, hope to see you around. If you enjoy the kind of content I do, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.